Eric, you've been warning of something called a new Islamic caliphate. What is that and why do you believe it's closer to becoming a reality? This is a term that every one of our viewers need to know because they're going to be hearing it more and more in the months to come. What the Islamic caliphate is, is basically, Charlene, a union, if you can imagine it, of every Islamic nation into one all-powerful military, economic, political force. Now there's some 57 Islamic nations in the world, so you can imagine how strong the so-called caliphate would be. The last time we saw it was in 1924. It was disbanded back then. The Turkish Ottoman Empire led the last caliphate. The army of the Khilafah was undefeatable. They could not understand the Crusaders when they go to fight the Khilafah, even the Christians who live in the Khilafah are fighting the Crusaders. They cannot understand this. Our own brothers in religion, the Christians, are fighting for the Khilafah. They could not understand that power. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, we have left nothing. We have left nothing out of this book has come to deal with every single matter. But the Qatar, they worked hard to separate the deen from the state. The British destroyed the Khilafah with the help of Mustafa Kamal. The British government, who worked tirelessly to destroy the Khilafah and works tirelessly today to prevent its return. And the British, they came to the Treaty of Lausanne and they said, we have four conditions. We are going to recognize the independence of Turkey, but there are four conditions. Destroy the Khilafah, not only that. Expel the Khalif, not only that. Seize his property, that's just condition one. Condition number two, Turkey must promise to suppress any movement, any movement undertaken by the supporters of the Khilafah. They are doing that today. Number three, Turkey must cut her link with Islam. Number four, Turkey must have a secular constitution and cannot have a constitution derived from the rules of Islam.